Uh, so my name is Nick Griffiths, I'm 46 years old, uh, married with two daughters, Amy 21 and Hannah 16. Earlier this year I was participating in the Montaigne Yukon Arctic Ultra, it's a 300 mile ultra race in the, in the Arctic in Canada um, and as I said yeah, I was in the 300 mile race distance. The marathon started, it started on the um, 1st or 2nd of February, uh, I can't remember exactly, on the Thursday morning and things were going fine, the race started really well. Uh, but temperatures dropped down below minus 45 and humidity was up at 80%. Um, so the, the night was extremely difficult. Um, I ended up stopping during the night because I knew I had problems with my hands and uh, they were cold. Um, but it was the next day that um, things started to go wrong for me, as it were. I trained during the winter in England, going out at night, going out on the moors. Um, but as I said, being in, in temperatures of sort of below minus 45 is quite extreme. Um, previous life I used to be in the Royal Marines and we used to train in Norway in the Arctic but when it got below minus 30 um, we would stop exercise because it was deemed as being dangerous so um, being in below those temperatures I think the race started in minus 36 but um, with the kit I had on I was fine it was just as the day and the night went on and the high level of humidity which is quite unheard of with that high level of, of, of cold um, there wasn't really much it wasn't like I was alone as I say there was sort of 40 people plus in the race and by the time I scratched there was eight left so and some of the some of the athletes actually recorded temperatures of minus 54 um, you know locally where we were and it was this high level of humidity so normally it's a really dry cold but it was quite a damp cold so everything got condensation and just and just froze so I mean prior to the race starting I was fine I was I knew it was going to be cold I knew it was those sort of temperatures but not not once you get into sort of below minus 45 and that high level of, of humidity. I'd walked through, we'd done the first checkpoint, which is the marathon distance, got there Thursday evening. I'd set off that night, um, walked till about midnight and realised about midnight that I was, you know, really cold. I knew I had a problem with my hands, so I needed to stop, get warm, get something to eat, get something to drink, um, which I did. Uh, it started again at four in the morning and it was around early afternoon on the Friday. Uh, one of the snowmobile uh, marshals came along and asked me if I was okay and I said I was fine apart from I think I had a bit of you know problems in my hands and he checked and said yeah you've got um, frostbite uh, onto my hands so the, the rules on the race are quite strict about it if you have any signs of frostbite you are what they call scratch so I knew my race was over. There's a city called Dawson City which is the next city up from, from Whitehorse about 400 miles away they've got a hotel called the uh, Dawson City Hotel where they do this world famous Sarato cocktail which is an old gold miner's frostbitten toe that they put in a, a shot of uh, whiskey or tequila and you drink the drink and the, the, the toe has to slide down the glass and touch your lips and then you become a member of the Sour Toe Cocktail Club. Um, the hotel have been in touch and asked if they could have my toes. I said, yeah, by all means they can have the toes and I'm just finding a way really how to, to get them out to Canada.